What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. The Road to Glory uploaded at 10pm tonight instead of 10am 10 10 this morning because of Team of the Season. Uh, team of the Season of course is here and I'm, I'm very excited generally speaking. There's no actual um, SBCs for Team of the Season yet but today uh, one of the first things we're going to do is we're actually going to trade in this Henrik Larsson. Um, for a 100k pack that we're going to open for this team of the season. Now, I'm not going to make a habit of opening packs for these trash bag team of the seasons, although there are some really good cards in the most consistent. Um, but I just felt like as a as a good start to tots, how fun would it be? Have I got a centre forward to Cam? And have I got Cam to centre mid? Yeah, how fun would it be? Uh, all right, okay, so I need two Cam styles. Yeah, how fun would it be, basically, to to get in there and see if we can't have some team of the season pack luck to start with. You'll see I've got two saved packs as well. I'll explain where they came from in a second. Uh, so position modifiers, we need um, send it forward to Cam to start with. What are we looking at? 3K? 4K? Jesus. It's actually going to cost me about probably about 5 or 6K to like convert Henrik Larsson down uh, to a centre mid. But of course he's untradeable for us and he cost me very, very limited amount of um, coins to make anyway. Because we did the upgrade packs to get to Henrik Larsson. So we'll take the centre forward to Cam and then a Cam to centre mid. If it's not needed, I'll just save it. I don't know if we actually get what we need to get. But if we could get a thumbs up, guys, for Team of the Season. Tweet me, of course, if you guys have packed any Team of the Season cards. Uh, it would be awesome to see. Hopefully you guys do get some good Team of the Seasons. There's a lot to do on the account. Um, did I get that? No. There's a lot to do on the account over the next, uh, you know, the coming uh, days and weeks, including like a whole bunch of uh, Team of the Season SBCs that are going to be coming, the weekly objectives that are here. Um, there's other objectives like weekly objectives and such that give small pack rewards. And uh, then there's a couple of daily knockout tournament cards as well. So there is a hell of a lot to get through and get into, which I'm excited for. And as promised, we are going to com complete this Rude Hullet through team of the season. I don't know if we're going to do it necessarily in week one. Uh, I just know that we're going to do it through team of the season. So centre forward to Cam. It does get into three Cam. So that's that done. We don't need to go for the Cam to centre mid. So we're going to turn that in. Uh, Henrik Larsson did okay for us. Only played 16 games with him. 13 goals, 13 assists. We're going to trade him in. And we are going to open our 100k pack to kick things off. Well, we're going to open first and foremost... Uh, we're going to open uh, this 5k pack. The premium gold pack, I got this from the Fut Swap player, the final Fut Swap player that I got. And then the gold pack, we actually got this from winning the daily knockout tournament. I didn't record any of the DKT. I, I basically, uh, after I finished streaming on Thursday night, I hadn't um, qualified at like 3 o'clock in the morning UK time. And I thought, you know what? Let me just give one DKT attempt. If I win it on my first go, great. If I don't, I won't play um, Fart Champs this weekend. We'll just go and do all the, uh, you know, the team of the season based stuff. And as luck would have it, I ended up getting like a couple of really quick rage quits. And then the final was the only tricky game. Um, and we ended up winning the whole DKT in like 40 minutes. It was great. So that's where we got the 5k pack from. As I said, we got the premium gold pack from the final Fart Swap Clint Dempsey card. Uh, that we picked up as well. A um, couple of a uh, couple of cards there that are okay. Keep that, keep that, keep that. Um, and then the 100k pack here as well. And you're probably wondering where did like you know almost half a million coins go? Well, first of all, let's open this 100k pack. Uh, do I expect a blue card? Absolutely not. Do I expect a board? Most definitely yes. So as I say, no no blue card expected. We do get a board player, so no special card for us. Sadly. Our player is going to be German, goalkeeper. It's a big one! It's Ter Stegen! I thought it was going to be Neuer, I'm not going to lie. 87 rated Ter Stegen is very, very, very nice though. He's like a 28, 30k player. So that's not so shabby. Could also be some other players in this pack as well, of course. And there's not. <laughs> that actually, outside of Ter Stegen, that's one of the worst 100k packs you're likely going to see. Oh no, there we go. Okay, so we've got some players up here as well. We'll send all these to the trade pile for the time being. We'll send all of these bad boys into the club. It's such a shame we didn't pack a blue there, but we get a test egg. And like I said, I think he's about 30k. 27 to 30k. Okay, 25 to 27k. That's fine. And now might actually be a good time for me to go and pick up some of the 88 rated cards that we need to finish off the other side of um, Rude Hullet. 
Uh, however, what I did, guys, I went and bought two um, Alexis Sanchez one to watch cards. I'm going to show you guys what I bought them for and the fact that they're actually already up in price. So I bought this one for 210 and it looks like he's already up at about two. Oh no, he's back down again. Okay, so it's come back down towards 200. And I bought another one for 193. I don't know if it's on this page of cards or if it's in my club. It looks like it'll be in my club. Uh, let's just have a look. I've got a lot of stuff on the trade pile. I'm going to have to sort through that. I'll sort through that another time. We're not going to do it here today. Um, but yeah, I bought another one for 193, I believe. Um, because I, I have a feeling, uh, by the time you're watching this video, potentially, or at midnight, I have a feeling we're going to get a 92 rated man of the match, Alexis Sanchez. Um, and if we do, this card will go up to around 400, 500k, and I'll make some really, really good profit off of it. And if we don't, I already bought him at a really low point, so I'll lose tax on it for the risk. And I personally think the risk is worth it, so I'm going to give it a risk. So, what have we got to do? Well, the weekly objectives, win four squad battles on world-class minimum for the team of the season, Carlos Lopez. Score 10 goals to... in in. Uh, Oh, just score 10 goals with Team of the Season players to earn a small Prime Electron players pack. Play three games to get a kit. Score five goals with Galatasaray players in online seasons for a small Prime Electron players pack. Uh, score three goals using Calcio A defenders in squad battles on minimum professional difficulty. And then score 11 goals using EFL League 2 in squad battles on minimum professional difficulty. So basically, we need lots of uh, squad battle stuff. The first and for foremost thing we need to do is just win four games... Um, on minimum world-class difficulty and so what we're going to do here today is I'm going to actually build a squad that's not an insane squad just to show you you guys that um, squad battles just to show you guys that you don't have to have like some incredible squad to actually complete these objectives and I'm going to show you like in my opinion the best way to go about it so we're just going to go to gold high to low I'm going to see if I can build out a Premier League team um, in fact let me use this guy. I'm just going to use basically some low, like I said, low, low value, low bin players. Some some players that there's no way you guys won't be able to afford or pick up or get involved with. And I'm going to also play on. And I'm I'm just picking the first people that are coming up here as well. So we'll pick him and we'll pick him. Um, uh, we'll pop. Uh, let's pop this red Atsu in as well. And then up front we'll go with. Go with a uh, Wele and and Andre Gray. So I am going to put some some decent players on the bench just uh, just in case, but shouldn't be an issue, right? There shouldn't be an issue for me to um, to win this basically to to win this game. And so what I'm going to do here today, guys, after opening this pack and so on and so forth, the first thing we're going to do is we are just going to quite simply go and win one game live, and then tomorrow's video will be me unlocking um, a few more of the players uh, and so on and so forth. So, uh, Koke got a red card for me in the final as well, which is too bad. So, um, yeah, this is, the, this is the team. Let me just put a manager in. I don't think we need a manager, but let's put one in there anyway. And I'm now going to go and get into our first squad battles match. Um, single player squad battles. Now, I'm, I'm going to have to uh, turn my TV over. So, I'll be right back, guys. I'll be right back. All right, guys, so uh, we'll start with the first team. I'm going to be playing on legendary difficulty. That's right, the team that I've got here, I know Valencia's got a attribute card on him, but I'm going to be playing on legendary difficulty with this team because I want to. I genuinely want to show you guys, and I know I've done a fair bit of squad battle stuff uh, most recently on the channel because of some of the weekly objectives and, and because playing FIFA at the moment is, is kind of dry, but I genuinely want to show you that it doesn't matter if you're doing those professional difficulty tasks or if you're doing those world-class difficulty tasks like this one is, you can you can do it with a very, very reasonable team. So if you're a new t new player to FIFA and you've just turned in, um, this this is going to be the way for you. So first thing you're going to want to do is go to settings, go to customize control and put yourself onto legacy, legacy defending. It's just going to make it remarkably easier. It won't make you a better player, won't make you a better online player, it won't teach you anything about the game, but it will allow you to defend without defending and that just makes it a little bit easy. So um, first things first, on legendary difficulty, which is what I'm playing on and, and what these rules apply to is, is kind of specifically legendary difficulty. But on legendary difficulty, what you're going to need to know is that the the oh god the the risk isn't going to be okay. Can you score 100 goals a minute? That's not what we're looking to do here. The 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 aim of this game is literally to just 
score when the opportunities arise. And what I mean by that is don't go like absolutely gung-ho running left, right and centre to try and get yourself every long shot. You know, you're going to be using, uh, I mean, maybe you've got like a really good team that you're going to be using. But if you've decided to use a team like mine, um, you, you're going to be using players that aren't the best, that aren't the quickest, that don't have the great skill moves, don't hate, have the great finishing. So you're going to have to take your chances as and when they come. Funnily enough, I didn't take my chance right there to start with. Uh, Gray got in behind there and probably should have uh, should have done better. And, and what I'm doing to defend as well, as I end up stealing the ball there with Leighton Baines, is I'm just holding circle and uh, circle and X together and sprint. Look, I'm, I'm holding both of them. I, my other hand is doing nothing. And look how not only do they chase the ball down, but they will actually put a tackle in. You might want to change player eventually because you'll just gas the stamina out of players. But I might even concede here. Oh, he's hit the post. There you go. We end up winning the ball back. Um, but that's how I defend. Just hold, like, hold sprint. And, and then eventually, like, if you're tracking back with the player, you might just want to press L1 to pick up another player. And there you go. Atsu picked up the ball for me off the back of that. So the aim, you know, we're not trying to go for top 100 in squad battles here. We're not trying to get the five O's with all the corners and, and no fouls and no offsides and 10 shots and so on and so forth. The aim here is genuinely to just win the game, right? Because that's all you have to do. You just have to win the game. And so what happens is, is in the first 45 minutes, the AI is at a specific difficulty level. I know it's on legendary anyway, but the AI, is, it doesn't... Like, it plays legendary in the first, uh, the first half. And then depending on the scoreline, it changes and adapts the way it plays in the second half. So in the second half, heel to heel flicks and... Um, heel to heel flicks and fake shots just work incredibly well. And even fake shot stops work really well as well. I might even be in here actually. Nah, see, I could have, I could have possibly got a fake shot away there, but um, so yeah, the aim, the aim start start with is is just to get into the second half, get you know, get through half time without conceding. Really, that's the aim. And you are gonna lose, especially if you use poor players like I've got here. You are gonna lose stamina so fast because of the way that we defend, because of the fact that we end up. Um, because of the fact that we end up uh, just holding sprint to defend, you are really going to lose your stamina quite quickly. You'll notice probably grey is going to be really low for me as well. And notice how I'm not like rushing in to get chances either. I'm just, as it comes, oh, that's actually great play. That's a beautiful goal. That is a beautiful goal. And that's our first goal. And now we get the benefit of knowing that we're going to win this game comfortably. Because what again will happen now that we're winning, in the second half, the AI will go all out attack after about the 60th minute against when they're losing and it makes it just ridiculously easy to counter them and score that was a fantastic goal um so first things first uh, that's how we are going to beat the ai with a bad team on a super difficulty so it doesn't matter if you're a bad player it doesn't matter if you're new to fifa it doesn't matter if you play sporadically if you've got a good team a bad team if you're looking to use a fitness team all that matters is that you put it to legacy defending Understand that stamina is going to be an issue for your players because of uh, because of the the style that you defend. So maybe picking high stamina players will be priority number one for you in a team. Maybe uh, maybe using your main team will be there if you've got a main team. You know if you've got like already a really sick team with like a few icons and so on and so forth. Maybe um, using those players will be a benefit you again. But look how I'm winning the ball back. Like I just drown them out. And they will get a few good chances. I, th I think they already hit the bar once in the AI. They, they will probably score, especially against a team like this. They will probably score. They do cut you open from time to time. Uh, but generally speaking, they'll only create like two or three really good opportunities per game on this difficulty level. And so it makes it, as I say, you know, it makes it just stupidly easy to... Uh, to, to win the game ultimately so we're 30 minutes in so far um so the i, I know uh, again this is like squad battles and squad battles or, or whatever you know people don't necessarily like watching squad battles but i think because of the weekly objectives this week and because of the fact that so many of the weekly objectives are geared around squad battles i think it's going to be important to be getting some squad battles gameplay up there this week and one thing that i want to do that i haven't done a lot recently a lot of the weekly objectives i've been doing recently on the road to glory have been done just off camera and then i've just shown you hey here's me claiming the weekly objective well i don't want to do that now uh, i want what i want to do through team of the season is show you all of the things you know for every Oh, am I going to win that? Um, everything from the games that we play on professional difficulty to the bronze packs that we open, because we've got a good chance of packing a lot of good team of the seasons um, uh, through this team through this team of the season because of how many you know because of now how the the packs work since last year where the base 
card pack is the one. Oh, I thought I got a Hilti Hill flick off there. He's actually injured Welbeck. Uh, yeah, because the base card is the one that is also relevant in the pack. Like, we can pack, for example, Team of the Season Ak and Fenwa, a gold 79 rated card. We can pack him in a bronze pack. Um, there are plenty of other uh, Team of the Season cards that also have base silver cards that we can pack in bronze packs. And then if we do some bronze to silver and silver uh, to gold upgrade packs, there are ample, ample amounts of players that we can pack. Am I going to get this through? There we go. Oh, great. How have you missed that? Yeah, there, there's so many that we're going to be able to pack. Um, sorry if you can hear my son there as well. He's uh, obviously having a bit of an issue. Um, yeah, there's so many that we'll be able to pack through upgrades and stuff that it's just going to be a lot of fun. It seems like EA have really done good on the grindy aspect. You know, two players already winnable via uh, weekly objectives. Um, on top of that, a couple of decent packs winnable via weekly objectives and a um, an informed Cooley Bally winnable via weekly objectives. Okay, it's only a 15 game loan Cooley Bally, but still the point stands that there's another card winnable via weekly objectives. That's pretty cool. Um, two players coming via DKT. Now they are going to be a sweat fest, especially due to the fact that, excuse me, in DKT, you can use attribute cards, right? So that's going to obviously have uh, some, so might, maybe only a minor impact, but it's going to have an impact and it's going to be a sweaty, sweaty, sweaty DKT. Um, then on top of that, we're going to get, I believe it is on the 2nd of May, we are going to get eight or nine SBCs for other team of the season cards. Um, so you can see there that Atsu and Grey have got the worst stand, so I'll probably bring those off later on in the game. Uh, I'm going to go defensive now as well, because I know the AI is going to push on a little bit more. They're going to start creating a few more opportunities, and uh, I'm going to want to just hit them on the counter. But Yeah, so basically we're going to be getting, according to what EA said, there's going to be 10 Team of the Seasons from the rest of the world per week, and they are going to be not available in packs. They are only going to be available through the weekly objective, and then through the SBCs. That's a good shot from all. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and I don't know what I'm going to do with those Team of the Season cards. Because from the first ones that we've seen, so if we actually take the first one into consideration. So, it's basically the top 50 rest of world players that aren't in Team of the Seasons. And so, the, the first one that we've got here, this Lopez guy that we're playing for right now. He is literally the worst of the 50. He is the 50th rated of the top 50. Um, and he's 84 rated, and it's actually an okay card as well. You can't really turn your nose up at it because it's a free team of the season. And what it allows you to do is to complete other weekly objectives without even paying for a team of the season card. So, for example, um, the uh, there's another weekly objective that requires you to score goals with a blue cards for a prime pack or something like that. And so you can just win a team of the season card to do that. So that's pretty cool as well. But so this guy is number 50. And then so there's going to be 10 this week. There's going to be 10 next week and 10 the week after, 10 the week after and 10 in the final week. So team of the season promo is going to run for five weeks, which means it's good news for World Cup mode because I feel like they might be getting the team of the week stuff out a little bit quicker so that they can actually get World Cup game mode in and uh, in and around, you know. Um so yeah, that's that's obviously some uh, don't foul him, don't foul him. That's obviously some some oh god, I've tackled him twice there. That's obviously some really good news. And then obviously next week's weekly objective will have the 40th uh, ranked player. So the fact that this guy is an 84, I assume the 40th ranked player will be like an 86 or so. And then the next week will be the 30th ranked player, and then a 20th ranked player, and then the 10th ranked player for a weekly objective. And that's pretty cool. A 10th ranked player. From the rest of the world, from a weekly objective, that's going to be great to be able to grind out. So you're going to be able to grind out through weekly objectives, a guaranteed of five team of the season cards. Then there's going to be nine per week via SBCs. And I think they're untradeable if I read that correctly. And that's interesting because how difficult these SBCs are to complete is going to be really important to whether or not this is going to be a good area of the promo or not. So, for example, for the Futswap players... There was the marquee matchups that gave you that fuck swap Fellaini, and it was way too expensive. It was like 50k before you take the packs into consideration to get a fuck swap player. I think the the community were up in arms about that. You you know we got plenty of complaints about that. And then the next SBC, not only was it way cheaper, so it was like 8k to complete, it also gave you a pack that gave you some good rewards back. So it was essentially not free, but super cheap and potentially 
you potentially you may profit from it, but not free. If these SBCs that EA are about to do uh, in a few days' time are going to be um, really expensive to complete, like even 20k or more, it's not going to be worth it. Uh, if those SBCs, however, are going to be 10k or less, because these are untradeable cards, they have no value, but because they would be discard value at like um, 20k for a team of the season card, maybe 15k for some of the lower rated ones, it might actually be worth getting all of them. So there is a chance that you're going to be able to complete 50, that's right, 50 rest of the world players and have 50 team of the season in your club, which guess what that's going to do? That's going to go into other SBCs that you might enjoy. So Prime Icon Hullet for me is going to be where I put some of these players into because it's just going to reduce the price of him and the cost of him dramatically. Alternatively, um, you of course could put uh, these players into other SBCs that are coming along the way. That's going to, ooh, nice, nice block. Or alternatively, these cards might actually be usable. You know, if, if this 84 rated guy is the 50th rated player, his card stats are okay. I've looked at them. He, he's got okay composure, nothing great, but his pace is good. His his actual shooting stats are very good. Um, we'll, we'll go and have a look at him after this game as well. I don't want this video to be like too long because uh, it's a late night upload for, for a change and I need to still do tomorrow's video now. Uh, obviously, we've got a lot of FIFA to play to get that done and dusted. But yeah, bottom line is, is uh, it's going to be... It's going to be a good card for this Spanish guy, this Lopez guy. And I think you're going to see him a lot in like weekend league and, and so on and so forth. Just because it is a novelty card to start with. However, I do expect that he will get fully eclipsed uh, and won't be in many people's teams after the first day or two. Just because of how many team of the seasons are going to be available. We already have two full squads out there. So there's already like 46 team of the season cards available. And uh, then there's two, well, Akinfem was in packs and available through weekly objectives. So does that, I think right now there's 47 team of the season cards available. Um, and then there's going to be the DKT players, which is obviously uh, Kaleon, which looks to be a good card. Again, it's just such a shame he's got two star, two star, three star, because outside of that, it's a good card. And then outside of Kaleon, you've got uh, Hoyler, who's got a well-rounded card, mostly based on pace. His dribbling is okay, but... It's, again, it's going to be a nice card to, to win, and it'll be a nice card if you can win it to, to have. What I don't enjoy about the DKT is the fact that, again, you, you're pricing a few people out. You, you just, you're immediately like removing some people's um, ability to win that card because they're just quite simply not good enough to win the DKT. But then also you're inviting people that are exceptional at this game and already qualified for foot champs and, and are brilliant at the game and don't need to play DKT you're inviting them to also come online and get involved in that tournament and win that. And that also then allow, what well, doesn't allow even more people um, into the DK, well, into foot champs, but to win the DKT because all the tryhards and all the top guys are going to be coming back into it to try and win those cards. So I don't, I personally either think that when a player is up for grabs in the DKT, that they should remove the number of chances that you have to win in right now you get eight attempts i think when there's a player available there should be unlimited attempts or alternatively they should just bring back cups put these players in cups and boom problem solved like have a you know don't have the qualification tool for your your you know your big weekend league as the thing that is also what entices people to come and win a player i think that's quite counterproductive and i hope they uh, i hope they just remedy that for next year or even better still i hope they remedy that at some point this year that would be pretty cool as well but i personally can't see it happening this year uh but we find ourselves three and up uh, guys i've used this team the whole game i didn't change this team i didn't change formations i didn't change tactics i built this team from scratch like if you were interested in custom tactics and such custom tactics are exactly the same player instructions are exactly the same like well default i haven't changed any of that the team wasn't great, um, and that was on legendary difficulty. And we managed to pick up the win very, very comfortably. And I did it at a canter without even paying attention. Two goals for Wele, one for Silva, two assists for Gray, and one for Silva. So a nice big 3-0 victory over the team there, which is obviously uh, pretty good. Dominant performance. They only had four shots the whole game, one on target. We also picked up 2,300 uh, points, which is going to get us... By the time I finish all the squad battles games that are required for this week... Um, we're going to end up probably getting like into maybe like gold one, which will give us another good amount of rewards to potentially even get more team of the season cards 
through the packs, which will be pretty sick. So uh, we complete squad battling, that gives us 350 coins, but for the weekly objectives, that's now one out of four for Lopez and one out of three for the blue kit. And that's it so far. So that, guys, is going to be the end of the video for today. In fact, before we get out of here, what did I want to do? I wanted to look at that Lopez card. I wonder if his concept is in concepts now. It wasn't previously. Um, uh, Lopez. What was his first name? It wasn't David Lopez. It wasn't Maxime Lopez. It wasn't Pedro Lopez. I can't remember what his name was. Uh, let's go special, high position, striker, nation, Spain, and have a look at if he's in concepts here. Because he's 84 rated, obviously. Okay, there we go. So, is it David Lopez? Carlos Lopez. Yes, yeah, so it wasn't there. So, this, this guy that you're going to win, four-star weak foot, which is great. Medium high work rates is super confusing, but four-star weak foot is great. But if you look at his stats... 98 acceleration and 88 sprint speed. So I don't even know if I'd give him a pace card because he's quick off the mark. He's got perfect balance, good agility, good ball control, good dribbling, reasonable composure, reasonable physical stats, good short passing, but then he's got insane finishing and then good shot power and positioning. So I'd probably give him something that boosted maybe his dribbling, shooting and physical, maybe a marksman or maybe a maestro to boost shooting, passing and dribbling. But this card is for a free card for playing four, um, for playing four squad battles games. This is dope, man, and I'm excited for team of the season. This, however, dudes, is going to be the end of the video. If you did enjoy, it, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.